Hey y'all, it's Costa Jeweler. We are headed into the HEP Thrift Store in Clearwater, Florida, looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So don't forget to hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on my live buy it nows and auctions of purses and jewelry and more on Saturday and Sundays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, my daily upload of thrifting videos, shopping videos. Hit a thumbs up for this video and also subscribe to the channel. Pretty big store. Hope y'all enjoyed that auction video yesterday. That auction was awesome. And, man, did it get me in some trouble. But I found beautiful stuff. And y'all already saw that on last night's sale. So we're going to head in here and see if we can be surprised by any fantastic goodies. That would make for a great jewelry tray if you had the trays with it. So a really big and clean store. So they're going to have a little bit of everything in here. They're going to have some jewelry. Some purses. Is this a cute little coach? It's not. I'm not sure if they're having any sales today or not. Usually color code everything. Mm, what is this croc? Look at this. I am in love with that. Let's look at that more closely. Look how pretty that is. We are getting that one. I'll try to bring that into a sale soon. Love my crock print stuff. You've got to look carefully in here too because you might miss something great if you don't. Is that a B. Mikowski? It is not. That's a Tenyanello. That's awesome. What's this little cute crossbody? Is this something? Let's see. Doesn't necessarily have to have a brand, designer brand, but I'd prefer, but not all the time does it need one. And it doesn't. Lots of wallet choices. What is this? A little croc embossed. Small wallet. And Klein. Genuine leather. They do have some of their finer wallets um, in the what they call the boutique. It's a little section in the middle, middle of the store. Once Upon a Dream in the middle of the store, Disney. And that's where they, where they will have their fancy name brand. Roth's. This is a pretty beaded bag. Look at the top of that. Look how pretty that beadwork is. Let's look a little closer at that. Look at that. Are pretty. Not sure if I'm going to get that or not, but it is beautiful. 
and then look at the top right here on the kiss lock. Handles in great shape, but overall perfect condition. Lug, L-U-G, I thought this was Vera Bradley at first. Never heard of Lug before. They do have a Vera Bradley section though, if you're interested in that brand. So this brand right here is called Million Wishes. Croc print, blue and silver. Never seen anything like this before. It's missing the straps on it, but it is real leather, it says. Pretty bag, passing on it though, but it's beautiful. Relic. So their jewelry is all in cases. Mmm, I'm liking this one back here. Look at this. Looks like a Greek soldier there on the front. I'm gonna see if we can take a look at that. So I took this out of the box and I'm going to show you this is a beautiful necklace. So, real long. I'll zoom in on it so you can see it up close. Pull too hard and you knock it over. This is heavy too. Look at this, how pretty this is. So that right there is gorgeous. It looks like it has CZs. Love the Greek soldier. I think that's a Greek soldier. And then you have the tassel. So we're getting that one. Gold tone screw back earrings, they're really pretty. Not sterling silver, wish it were, but it's not. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you could do that. Magic. 
Not sure what the small wallet is right there. There's a leather one in there. It looks like a hobo. We'll take a look at that. It's right there on the left, the brown one behind the black one. Could be wrong. May not be hobo. It looks kind of like a hobo I had before. Coach Wallet. Cute little teapot. Short and stout. And look at this little cup. What in the world? Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And what is this little miniature guy? Sixty fourth anniversary Mustang, one of ten thousand pieces. Pedal car. I'm trying to remember what this little guy is. I can't remember. We've seen him before. He's got the little dust broom right here as the tail. I just don't know what this little guy is right here. It's like a half inch tall. And I know this isn't a perfume bottle, but to me, it's a beautiful etched glass, probably a decanter, but couldn't you probably um, collect it with perfume models? I'm not sure. Could be a traveling decanter, I'm not sure. But I would probably collect it with perfume bottles. Lots more jewelry. Let's see if there's anything unusual here. A spot of vintage coach. We're gonna have to check that out for sure. And this case over here looks like it might be crocodile. I did not see that till just now. Yeah. Tinianello. What did you want to see, sir? Look at this vintage Dooney. Yeah, okay. okay, yeah, I can't remember her name. Mm -hmm. Just didn't know. I usually see her when I come in. The uh, L5S9951. Tool leather. Pretty purse. So this is another coach. Burgundy color.
Hobo. Nice area wallet. Cross body. Osgood Marley cell pocket. I could have used these beauties at Christmas. Look at these. Have y'all ever seen anything like this before? Nouveau Art Glass. Look how pretty that is for hand painted. Huh. I wonder what this little guy is. Is he stone? He has not marked anything. He's cute though. This one's in really good shape. There's not any chips on it. We're not going to get it, but it is beautiful. No chips whatsoever. It survived this long. Hardvark, huh? Well, I'm gonna look that up and see if that's worth anything. Germany, those are cute. What do y'all know about this? Have you ever seen this before? So look at this on the bottom. I'll show you, and then we'll show you up close. I'm assuming hand painted. Not sure of the age. Another cute little trinket box. So this is not a Greek statue. I'm going to show you this. Marble base. It's signed also. So look at this right here on the signature and y'all tell me what you think that says. It 
So on the marble base right here, it's marked LT, and I think it says something Taurus. That's what I think it says. Look at this pretty picture. Looks like something you would see in an antique store. And a great frame too, look at that. $7.50. Now this is adorable, look at this. Here is the maker, Heather Goldmine. Used to be three monkeys jumping on the bed, right? Was the old. That is awesome. I love that. Thank you. Every time, every time I buy half price, the magic has disappeared at my house. Yeah. I know who it is. Maria. Even though she, yeah, even though she says she doesn't eat it, I know she does. <laughs> she says she doesn't eat it. Maybe you can hear that. We'll see. That wasn't me. So this is a purse cookie, cookie jar. Look at this. Take a look over here at the furniture. And the pictures, see what they have. It's a great DIY project that's only $48.50. This is solid wood. Somebody's already painted it. It has like bamboo edging, but look how pretty that is. I've seen some antique photos in here. You just never know what they're going to have. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. We're going to go now. hope you enjoyed that live sale last night and the auction house video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell and click all. And until next video, we will see y'all later. Bye.